Hi guys, this is Mohsen Khaled. I'm a technical consultant for Microsoft Dynamics AX. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to quickly read a trace log. So in my previous video, I showed you how to capture a trace. And this is going to be a follow-up video on how to read that trace. So let's dive into it. So in order to read a trace, you need a trace parser, which comes along with the setup file if you do not have it you need to install the trace parser and uh, when you open up the trace parser you will see this window which says uh, register database so this is uh, basically this can be any server that you have access to creating a database on and for this trace we are going to create a new database so we do not have to actually go in and create any database the trace parser would do that for us. I'm going to select a server name here. This is my test server, and I'm going to enter a database name. And click on register. It'll ask me if uh, I want to create this database as it does not exist. If you already have a database, you can just select that. I'm going to create this one and now I have a window that says select trace this is the where I'm going to import the ETL file that I created when I captured the trace and I'm going to import that file here I'm going to go to import I see that test file and open it up Now the trace parser by default shows me the top five methods according to time duration taken, the top five queries, and in order to go in to the individual sessions, I will click on session, I'll see the server side sessions and the client side sessions. So I want to see uh, what the server side session or queries were called upon when I the terms of payment creation and I'll get these four tabs call tree x plus plus RPC call and the SQL so the SQL is I think uh, more interesting to people so I'm going to first go through that so the SQL basically shows me all queries that were executed on our database and I can sort this out by the execution time so if you see, this is our query that took the most time to execute. It's a select query. I can also filter out, use this filter to find out the insert only query. I'll use a static. So here's my query that actually inserted the payment terms. As you see, it's using the payment term table and if i click on it it's gonna show me the call stack which is pretty cool and we show you each method that led to this query so the payment term insert is what actually called this query and it'll be highlighted as well same goes uh, for the x plus plus methods you can see what database calls these methods made how many database calls were made according to seconds and you can also filter out according to the total inclusive time the counts these methods were called so you see um, this map lookup was called seven times during my payment term creation and I'm quickly also going to show you the call tree so the call tree is basically looks complex but it is not it just shows you the call stack of each method and each process so if I go in this red highlighted process this is uh, by the way highlighted because it took the most time in the process so it'll keep on you can keep on drilling down and this is just a short process so there's no further methods executed you don't see any Thing else here I see other processes and the 
is an update process so this captures everything and all the sys queries everything so basically if you have a performance issue the trace parser is a really helpful tool which can get you easily to what's taking the most time identify the queries the methods and help you optimize your process better that's all thank you